Hi, so far in Angular 2 in this particular video tutorial, whenever we put any kind of binding or interpolation, we saw only one way binding. That means if you will change the property value on the one side, that is on the component, only then it will be reflected on the browser. But if I will change anything from the UI, that is from the text box or something, that will not change the actual value of your component's property. So what we will do now, we will perform the two-way binding in two different ways. First is using the event handling and second one is using the directive called ng-model. So let's see a practical implementation of performing the two-way binding in Angular 2. So here I have created a sample component which is already there up registered in the app module.ts as here you can see there is sample component already registered. Now what I have done inside that I have created a string property called val and I have given a value anadi. And in the sample html what I have done I have created a couple of things like first there is an input text box and here I have bound the property value with this property val alright so means the text box will show the value whichever is there in the val and the same value have been printed here in the browser using the interpolation so when I'll come to the browser here you can see that in the text box as well as here in this browser window you can find the same value but if I will change anything out there it will not be reflected right here so for that what I'll have to do is I will have to bind this value in a two-way binding as it is just a one-way binding if value will be changed here it will not be reflected this value alright so now what I'll do is here the first way of doing it is through the event so here what I'm doing is I have bound the event like here you can see there are the parentheses means the event binding is going on and on this particular event what I'm doing is I'm changing the value of this val so whenever the event will take place this input event will take place it will take the value from the target and the target is the text box right so whatever you have entered in the text box that's value will be assigned to the val and that will change the actual value of the val property alright so because of that only the things will get changed here also so let's save the changes and come to the browser now and now when I will enter anything you can see the value is getting changed in both the places alright so this is about the binding now let's do one more thing like let me put some br out there again and again I will put one more text box with the similar things to give the uniqueness I will set a different name like here I'll say text1 and here I'll say text2 now in the browser you can see like when I'm doing anything it is not reflected here alright so what I'll have to do is I will have to do a couple of things like first there is an event binding but along with that I'll also have to do the property binding that is value is equal to val well, alright and similarly here also I will do the same thing let me just copy that here from here alright now when I'll start putting the value either in the first text box or in the second text box you will see the value is getting changed everywhere so the what I'm doing here like here is the property binding which will copy the value from the property to the text box if I will change the value in the first text box the val value will be changed and that will display the value in this text box similarly if I will do the event in the second text box the value of val will be changed and that will be copied to the 
first text box and obviously here it is interpolation so whatever the current value of val is it will simply show that now as you can see it is a bit complex thing like here the property binding and event binding both bindings are undergoing so what i will do i can go for one more options here that is the ng model so for the ng modeling what i'll have to do is i'll just remove all this text and here i will put the square brackets which we use in the property binding and inside that i'll put the parenthesis which i do for the event binding as here you can see both the things are going on so i will do that all together for the ng model all right and this ng model what that will do it will take the value from the val all right so i will just do the same thing in the second text box also so just uh, let me remove these couple of bindings and i will put the same thing so this is ng model through which you can actually perform the two way binding but before using this ng model make sure in the current module you have included the forms module so you will have to add two things like first import forms module from angular forms and second thing is that you have to make the entry right here also in the imports all right so just save the project and come back to the browser and here you can see the things are going on in the very same way and with a simpler text all right so this is how you can achieve the feature of two way binding in angular